everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Fulgrim Gaming Super Mario RPG Let's Play. And I'm sorry for the lack of content from Joe and myself over the past week or so. Uh, last week we had, what did we have? We had the AP English test. This week, let me go ahead and fight one of these guys so you can see them. Um, this week, oh, Saturday we had the SAT. And I'm not sure if everybody knows what the SAT is. I'm not sure if that's a, a worldwide test or not. If you're in another country other than the US, I wouldn't mind. Uh, if you are in another country, do you have to take the SAT, or is that one of the things, one of the options you do for, uh, you know, college uh, testing or whatever? You know what I mean. But anyway, we had the SAT last week, we had the AP English Literature and Composition Test. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much the big stuff. Oh, we had some uh, crap essay stuff due Friday. Friday was the Fringe Season 3 finale, so I was booked on Friday. I know that's kind of sad, but that's... Uh, Kind of a high priority when you followed every single episode for the past what three years. But uh, yep, here I'm uh, saving Toad. You don't have to save Toad. I mean, you can walk by him and just go on Mushroom Kingdom. But if you save him, you get um, items, like we'll see in a second. It's either a flower tab or a honey syrup. I'm not sure which one it is. It's a honey syrup. Uh, I knew it was one of them anyway. But uh, also last week, or like two Saturdays ago or something, I don't remember exactly when it was. But I uh, discovered Hulu Plus on the Xbox because there was a free trial, a uh, free week trial. And over that week, well, which was last week, and this also hugely contributed to having no videos out this week. If I say week again, I might just like freak out. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I watched 37 episodes of Lost in one week. That's what, an average of five or so episodes a day? And then every episode's about 40 minutes, so that's like three hours a day. Yeah, it got I, lost. Is such an engrossing series; it's really not even funny. And it's uh, not a coincidence that it's by the same director as Fringe. So if you liked Lost, you'll probably like Fringe because they have sort of some of the same elements. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that flower tab, by the way, because that increases FP. And FP in this game is like MP or magic points in any other game. And see that chest right there? I always thought it was funny, like. You gotta go in, get it, and get out. Because they throw an enemy at you, you gotta fight if you don't hurry up. But, yep. Uh, oh, also, <laughs> it, when I wasn't watching... Oh, and by the way, here's our first boss fight. Uh, the Hammer Bro, even though when we start the fight, it's actually two Hammer Brothers. And we'll see that in a second, as soon as we actually start fighting. I gotta get close to him and get him mad at me so he'll start fighting me. But, uh, and what I like to do, by the way, is just jump a couple times on him, because that's way more more stronger, more powerful than your, what's it called, uh, melee attack or whatever, your just regular physical attack, uh, but when I wasn't watching Lost or Fringe or taking a test or whatever other crap I had to do, I was, uh, oh, browsing StumbleUpon, and if you've never heard of StumbleUpon, it's StumbleUpon.com, it is one of the most interesting websites I've ever seen them ever because you put in like your interests and stuff uh, like when you sign up and you hit there's a button on the website that says stumble and got a freebie that means I hit the Y button or the X button at the right time uh, and it gave me an extra item and I got to use it so it's basically like you get a free item but anyway stumble upon you put in interests and this better kill them or I'm gonna be really mad I might even die if it doesn't alright good but anyway Stumble upon, you put in your interests, you hit the stumble button, and it takes you to whatever, like, websites related to your interests. So, for example, and it has a bunch of predefined interests, like computers. And, I mean, I have a bunch of interests on there, like computers, electronics, uh, I don't know, animals, all that kind of stuff. And, but if you put in a, just say computers is your, one of your interests, it'll take you to websites that have to do with computers. Or anything that really has to do with computers at all, like software. Uh, freeware stuff, like lists of freeware software, uh, hacking forums, like the ethics behind hacking, and all this kind of stuff. So, if you want something really entertaining, I really recommend you check that out, because it just kept me in entertained for, for a long, long time. So, well that was a big, long ramble on that. This is the Mushroom Kingdom, and this is really kind of small if you think about it, because we got a couple houses here, and then we got over here. And that's it. And one thing of interest I always like to uh, point out, or always like to do when I come here, is stand in front of this lady right here. And right now I can't move. 
and she's telling me to look at what I'm standing in. So if you hit jump, she freaks out and starts jumping up and down, and she says, Hi, gotcha, like she pulled one over on me or something. And then over here, we got this green girl. I don't. This might be the one that wants to get married to me. I'll check the dialogue in a second. But if you ride on her head for a while, you fall down like a, a hangover or something. Yeah, see, this is the one that wants to get married to me. Let's say you and I get hitched in a couple years. Just give me time to grow in. Okay, whatever. So that's that. And the other thing that's pretty cool is over here, if you walk behind here, there's a guy that'll tell you stuff about the like coming stuff coming up in the game. Like, this guy is talking about a horrible crocodile, and we'll meet the horrible crocodile, sort of, in this episode. And right now I'm gonna go save, because there's a... In this game there are treasure chests, that like, hidden treasure chests you gotta find. And there's one in the entire game that's missable, as far as I know. And, like, there's no way to come back and get this if you don't get it now. And so I'm gonna save right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and get it. To get it, and you gotta be kinda quick, you gotta jump on Toad's head. I like to get in front of him, just make sure, get on his head, when he stops, jump up here on top of this thing, and there's a chest right here, with a, that green coin was a, a frog coin, by the way, and I used to always miss that, I never knew where it was, I have the player's guide and I still couldn't find it, that's pretty sad, I guess, but here we have the Chancellor of Mushroom Kingdom, and I don't think, I mean, I don't really recommend, or recommend, don't remember the Chancellor in many other Mario games, I mean, I don't, maybe I just didn't pay attention. But here, Mario's about to go on to one of his, uh, charade rants, like he's gonna turn into Bowser here. Yep, see, here it is. Yep, and Peach too, dang. It, you, th whatever, I don't, how does that even happen? He, like, transforms into all these characters, and, uh, like, the funny thing to me is how everyone understands exactly what he's saying, too. And Mario, that is not exactly how it happens, so, you're trying to, it looks like he's fudging the facts a little bit. Oh, and then he does a shimmy. And look how much hang time he has! Dang! God. Alright, that should be the end of the story, right? Nope! Oh, that must be where we found the And he hops back. Okay. There. Into the story. And the keep is unassailable. I think that's what he said. I didn't really catch it. Uh, he might have... I don't know. Whatever he said. Basically, the point of the game is to get back to that castle. And, though not necessarily for the reasons you might think, and right here, he assumes we're ready for our, uh, oh, yeah, no, I don't need you to tell me how to equip stuff, I just forgot to. But as soon as you try to walk away, he starts to talk to you, I'm about to start walking now, and yeah, he falls flat on your face, and he gives you the map, and he even, look, this may not help you, yeah, you're right, that map is absolutely useless, it doesn't tell you anything, other than, like, the major points, because the whole game is a map screen, like, to go from place to place, you're on like a map screen, there's no point in having a map. I don't know, I just thought that was kind of useless, but... Like, this is the map, I'll look at it real quick. Alright, here's the map. Like, this doesn't serve any purpose whatsoever. To be quite honest with you. But, that's alright. We'll just, uh, continue on here. Now, let's see, where do I want to go now? I'll come over here. This is Princess Peach's bedroom up here. And, yep, she's got a nice bed, some fire. And if you go in this corner right here, the fireplace on this wall, and you hit A, you find Toadstool's question mark stuff. So, whatever contraband that might be, this lady comes over to you and starts taking it away, and in exchange she gives you a mushroom, which uh, I think I'd rather have whatever that was I found, but I can't really, uh, can't really argue with that, I guess. Mushrooms are pretty useful in this game. They replenish your HP and stuff. And this guy's the vault, well, I was gonna call him the vault dweller. He's, he's like the vault guard guy. This is a uh, Nintendo's way of introducing all the items in the game. For instance, this is a coin, like he's telling us right now. Coins, I mean, near the end of the game, uh, I'll save that for later. Now nah, I'll just go ahead and tell you. Near the end of the game, there's a box that gives you like infinite coins, so it's not really ness. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. And once we get to um, what's it called? Oh, uh, what's that place called? It's like, uh, the forest place, right before the forest place, I'm not really, I don't really remember what it's called. There's a trick you can do with mushrooms there to get, like, infinite coins. And so, we are going to meet our first party member now. And his name is Mallow, which is a weird name, but... And he thinks he's a frog, by the way. And we'll find out what he really is near the end of the game. Uh, it's actually, it's not even near the end of the game, really. So it's not really a spoiler. I was trying to think, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But what- Oh, yeah, this other thing I was gonna tell you guys. We, or actually I, have been thinking about introducing a new commentator, maybe, to the channel. Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> I'm literally forgetting it. Oh, now I'm not gonna say his name. I don't know if he wants me to say his name. I mean, he probably he'll tell him he'll introduce himself. But he is getting a new computer. Um, like a really really good computer, like 16 gigs of RAM, like two terabyte hard drive, a four i7 processor, all that you know the really crazy stuff. And so, and he's also, he's thinking about getting a black magic, like, basically a capture card that would be, like, really, really good quality. And, it just basically, it's gonna be, like, really good for video making. So, he is going to probably be doing a Dead Space 2 live Let's Play, because he doesn't really like scary games at all, and that'd be, that would be, will be hilarious if he, we can get that going. So, uh, let's see, we got... You know, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, the next episode, we're going to go find that crocodile guy that, uh, that Mallow was talking about. So, thank you for watching episode 2. I hope you guys tune in for episode 3 and the rest of the series. Uh, stay tuned for maybe a Dead Space 2 live Let's Play sometime in the near, in the near future. And Conquer episodes should be coming out who knows when. So, thank you for watching episode 2, and I'll see you in episode 3.